So I've got a project. Picked up a 12 volt light. And I plan on installing it up there where an old 110 light used to be. I'll show you what it used to look like. Just So this was the old 110 light that used to sit up here. Uh, I took it down. But it never worked um, that I know of. I mean, when I got the camper, I couldn't get it to work. I don't know. It could could have been something simple. Um, but for anyway, for me to use it, um, I'd have to run the generator, which is pretty much right behind the slide out over here. You can see it. Um, so it would be super loud just to have a light there. And you can see I have some stick on push button lights, but they're not very bright when you're sitting in the slide out. These are motion sensor lights. They only come on when it's dark anyway. Um, but yeah, so if you're sitting there trying to read, you have to swing your arm every once in a while to get the light to come back on. But yeah, so that's my next project is getting this thing installed. So I'll show you what it looks like. I just picked this up off Amazon. It's pretty sleek. It's really thin. It's got a push button. It works. Um, I tried it outside on a spare battery. So you've got your positive and negative cables there. So I plan on putting it up here, kind of in the same general area. The only problem is it lines up perfectly with this plastic piece here. So I'm not really sure how I'm going to mount this yet. I was just planning on screwing it to something, but anyway, we'll see. But I do plan on running a cord along the ceiling, along here, and it's going to plug into my solar charge controller right here, which I found out that is what that is for, <laughs> for running like 12 volt lights or, you know, that sort of thing. So that's the plan. I'm not worried about having cords running all along here. That, that doesn't bother me. So we'll see where I get at with this. So I'm just going to use, um, I guess, an extension cord uh, to run for my wiring for this light uh, with a little trick my dad showed me because you can see there's like two cords in one here. So there's a positive and a negative. So obviously I'm going to cut the end off, both ends actually, and splice the wire together and run that to my charge controller. So you'll hear the generator running because I just plugged this cord in before I cut the ends off of it <laughs> to make sure that it worked, and it did. And I don't know if you're going to be able to see this on the camera, but there's always a ribbed side and a smooth side. This is the ribbed side, and that's always the positive cable, and the smooth side is the negative. So. I'm going to keep that in mind when I'm wiring this thing up. Ribbed is positive, smooth is negative. So I've got my two ends, the wires exposed, and I'm going to splice those up with the wires on the light. Okay, so I got my light all wired up under here. And all I have to do is set this. You can now see there's an arrow pointed towards the light bulb. And now we've got a blue light on here on the light and just push this button there. So it's pretty bright. So now I just have to get it mounted to something where I can attach it up here. All right, I've mounted this light to a thin piece of plywood um, that I cut with a jigsaw. It's kind of a messy cut, but sometimes you have to go a little redneck with things. So I'm going to have it mounted up here, but it's, I think I'm going to put it back in the collar, um, if that's even what you call it, the collar of the old light. So I'll show you what I mean in a second here. When I said redneck, I meant redneck. <laughs> so this is what I've done. I just reused the collar from the old light. Um, like I said, I don't know what this thing is called. I'm going to call it a collar. Uh, I painted it black because it was gold, so it was very 1995. Um, yeah, and as you saw before, I had the light mounted to that piece of plywood. 
So I just stuck the plywood in there and it's being held in place by these screws here. So I completely reused, um, I guess the collar and the screws from the old light and just mounted the new one up there. So now I've just got to go ahead and attach the wiring along the ceiling. There we have it. Now there's a ceiling light in the slide out. So we've got these cable clamps from the hardware store. And I'm just using those to go along the ceiling. Uh, never mind that circle, that's actually from one of these that I ripped off back there. But anyway, see how it turns out. Starting to clamp the wiring to the ceiling. Just gonna come along here. Probably a few more clamps yet to go until I can bring it down the wall here. There we go. Project is complete. Got the wiring all clamped up along the ceiling. And then I put a couple of clamps just along the wall just to tidy it up a little bit so it wasn't loose hanging. Yeah, it's pretty bright. I think it makes a big difference. I'll be happy to have light in the slide out. Um, and you can see here, I think right now it's taking 0.2 amps. Oh, crazy. So I can shut the light off by hitting OK here. I'm going to hit OK. There goes the light. Hit OK again, there's the light back again. It's weird, it has something to do with, and I'll read up on this, but you can see the arrow pointing to the bulb here. If I hit select, is it select? Enter, sorry. And take that arrow away, the light goes out. The light's back on again. Yeah, I'll have to read up on that, but that's kind of cool. So if I don't want any power going to the light at all, I'll just hit enter and as you can see the little light there doesn't even show up as blue but if I hit enter the light comes back on and there's power to the 12 volt light. Weird. Anyway, I'm glad the project's done. I would say the hardest part about it was clamping um, clamping the wiring up because I decided to put the screws in by hand, which I'm not sure why. <laughs> it was definitely more time consuming, but glad it's done. I think it looks pretty good for a redneck light, for a redneck job. The real crazy thing is if I wanted to, I could actually reuse this since I don't actually have to use this push light to turn this on and off because instead I can use this to turn it on and off. So, hmm. Yeah, I don't know though. I think I might just leave it how it is rather than put this thing back up there. The option's there though. Kind of neat.